My name is Paul Rowan. I graduated in 1983. I was a member of the Orthogonian Society. I was a football and a baseball player at Whittier. The first two years football and then four years of baseball. I actually came to Whittier to play football, but uh, baseball kind of got in the way of that and became more prominent. So uh, that's what I continued with and uh, had a great time doing it. So as far as this event, I'm totally honored. Uh, humbled by this. Baseball is a game of inches, so it could have gone either way when I was here. Um, fortunately, uh, by God's grace, it was an opportunity to be able to do well to play with some phenomenal players. Um, I, just, I was so blessed to be with Tony Woods, Louis Sanchez, the Rodriguez brothers, Chuck Sloman. These all guys were all all district, all Americans. Um, so I just got to play along with them. Very cool time. <laughs> okay, so that's an interesting story. Um, my freshman year, I got here three weeks before anybody else did to start football practice, right? Well, for whatever reason, the groundskeepers were way behind on getting things together. My folks showed up with me to drop me off, and they said, what in the world are we doing here? Because the place looked so shabby at that time. It all got mopped up and cleaned up between that time and when we actually started class. But to be here now, it's obvious that there's a whole lot of love that's gone into this place. Uh, it's changed dramatically. The campus is obviously beautiful and continue to be renovated. So um, you guys are current students here. You should be totally blessed. So there you go. Paul brought, I think, the, the mentality of a linebacker to baseball. The, the dedication of hard work. I must be present and I must do my best on every play. I guess he, he, he needed that because sometimes Mendez would probably sit there and watch you like, what are you doing? I didn't teach that. Paul brought that aspect of, I think when you play dual sports is not only the flexibility of the game, but the, the wherewithal to know I can do both sports. Give me the opportunity. And so what happens is when you come to Whittier and you're given the opportunity, dedication, hard work, things pay off. And so for four years, I, I can read off his stats. That's not important. For four years, he made a commitment to play and play hard. Play with excellence and play with a commitment. Four years later, after he finishes playing, I got a little experience with it in the minor league, kind of see what that's about. But really, his four years of dedication and hard work brings him here today. Paul Rowland, Hall of Fame inductee 2018. It's your turn. Unfortunately, logistics are not going to allow this. To remember your freshman year and picture that, that tall, skinny freshman, all legs and arms, I never dreamed but hoped someday you would be a great one. You did become a great one. I want to thank you, Paul, for hanging in there with me in, at times almost seemed impossible. Mammoth High is in Mammoth Lakes, California, and it's a ski resort. It snows during baseball season. That's when the ski season is. What most people don't realize is Paul didn't have a home field. Mammoth High had to play all their home games in Bishop, California. Practice there also. Doesn't sound like much, but Bishop's 45 miles away. We went down in the yellow school bus, down to Sherwin grade at 35 miles an hour, and back up the Sherwin grade at, at sometimes 25 miles an hour. hour to, uh, more than an hour down and more than an hour to get back home. If you remember, Paul, we only had nine boys on the varsity your senior year, and you were one of them. There were nine on the JVs. I might mention we were one in 27 that first year, losing two games to a middle school. <laughs> you might wonder how we had 28 games since you were only allowed by CIF to have 20. 
Well, I figured the CIF office was 350 miles away. They weren't going to worry too much about a school that was 1 in 27. During all this, she hung in there with me, a true pioneer of the original Mammoth High baseball program. By the way, Paul's senior year, we tied for the league championship, and he, he led in every hitting category. When Pitty, Whittier, excuse me, when Paul got to Whittier to play baseball, with none of these adverse situations, I think it was he who first coined the phrase, is this heaven? No, this is Whittier College baseball. Congratulations to you, Paul, for being inducted into the Whittier College Hall of Fame. Also an alumni at Whittier, uh, was a baseball player here. He's the reason that I came here. Uh, he's on all of those long trips. Believe it or not, the, the shortest road trip that we had, the shortest road trip we had from Mammoth High School when I was growing up was two hours. And then uh, the longest was eight hours. <laughs> so we spent a lot of time on the road, thus we got to hear lots of stories from Coach Reagan Green. Um, he told a lot of the story about uh, when I came to Whittier. I was all that he said, all legs, skinny arms, and just had a lot of desire to be here. And Harold also spoke about the fact that I had some huge shoes to fill when I got here. One thing that he didn't mention was Greg Jones was gracious enough to show up for the first three weeks and actually teach me how to play first base because I was an outfielder when I showed up. Um, it's interesting how God's sovereignty works out. With that timing, with Greg being gone, and uh, with an opportunity for a lefty to fill a space, who was an athlete and definitely not a baseball player, Coach Mendez gave me the opportunity to actually become a baseball player. And uh, I can't thank Whittier College enough, uh, Coach Mendez and the players that stood by me. One of them that had to be exceptionally patient was Frank Mendoza. He was a senior that year and was a rock star. And I can only imagine that when I showed up, he was looking at me going, what in the world is going on here? We got this little kid from Podent Mammoth Lakes who doesn't know his nose from his posterior. Uh, and he's supposed to play first base for me. One little story along those lines is uh, early in the season, I was receiving a throw from right field and I was trying to transfer the ball from my glove to my hand. And we had learned that you keep shuffling your feet until you get a handle on the ball so you can make the throw. I ended up shuffling the ball, by uh, shuffling my feet from the edge of the grass in right field, halfway to the pitcher's mound. The whole time, Frank is going, give me the ball, give me the ball! <laughs> and uh, and then uh, all he could do was basically shake his head. But anyway, um, that was my freshman year, and again, the, the opportunity just to get the experience um, allowed me to, to be able to grow. And the thanks that I have now is that I had that opportunity. I can tell you if I went to a JUCO, if I went to a bigger four year, if I went anywhere else, I would have washed out. And this was the only place that uh, really worked out the way that it was supposed to work out. So I do want to thank the Hall of Fame Committee for allowing me this honor. I am truly humbled and I feel exceptionally privileged to uh, be a part of such an elite group. I also want to thank my family, um, much like our previous presenter. Uh, my, my parents did all of that same traveling that we did when we were in high school. They hit a lot of our games here in Whittier. Um, I told people that my mother's true uh, showing of love, motherly love, was to come to me after a game when she had to drive back to Mammoth and come up and give her a son a kiss with a big old jaw on his cheek. Uh, <laughs> She's shaking her head now. Uh, 
but I'm also grateful that my folks, my, my mom, my children, my brother, and his kids came, took the time to come and uh, be a part of this honor because they have been such a part of it this whole time. Um, equally, and most importantly, I'm grateful to my bride, uh, Tamala. She's been uh, hanging out with this numbskull for 32 years, and I still don't have any idea why she hangs out, but she does. So I'm blessed by that as well. Um, I can tell you this also, that I showed up with Whittier at an absolute awesome time for baseball. When you look at the cast of characters that I got to play alongside with, it's pretty amazing. When I think about guys that even came to support me tonight, Chuck Sloman, again, Frank Mendoza, Mitch Lava, um, all of these guys were players and we all worked hard. Then you had the guys that have already had huge accolades. I showed up with the same year as Tony Woods, if anybody remembers that name. Uh, Tony came to play basketball and somehow about baseball from a statistical standpoint that you actually pay attention to the numbers. And uh, Tom did really well here. Another guy was a guy that was a year ahead of me and he taught me how to work. His name was Noel Torrigo. And um, Noel went on to do great things. He's in Hawaii, he couldn't be here tonight. But all of these guys that I got to play with um, are the ones that allowed me to be able to be on the stage with some great players. I am really grateful for all of this. I'm grateful for the time at Whittier. I'm grateful for the degree that I got. Uh, people tell, I tell people that I went to school to uh, continue to play sports because it was so much fun. Somehow an education popped out. And uh, it's been a blessing. And uh, after all of this time, to be honored this way, it's just icing on the cake. Thank you very much for being here. I'm blessed.